Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the no bra zone number three guys here in Fort Myers, Florida. I'm happy to be back in my happy place. Um, just got back from the Fluid Art Boutique in Delray Beach, Florida. What a wonderful, exhilarating, exhausting, fantastic event that it was because of all of you. And I wanted to uh, take the time to thank each and every one of you for joining us and uh, the other wonderful artists that were there. You all put a stamp on the things that we do each and every day, the things that we love. And um, we're beyond grateful for you allowing us to be part of your painting journey. Thank you from the bottom of our heart. But I also wanted to talk to you about the fluid art experience coming up in Dallas, Texas. Some people are a little confused Fluid Art Boutique, Fluid Art Experience, they're two very wonderful events. And in November, November 17th, 18th, and 19th, I will be at the Fluid Art Experience in Dallas, Texas with some wonderful, wonderful artists. Mina Villegas from Mina Villegas Art, Canela Siraco is going to be joining us from Canada. Um, Mixed media girl Marcy will be there with all the tricks of the trade to teach you all who are interested in having a YouTube channel. She is a wealth of wisdom, that girl is. I've been lucky enough to hang out with her once or twice. Pieces of Tara, darling Tara, right here, honey. Winterstrom Art, Coles Color, and Darling Nate Bright Art, who will be joining us from Costa Rica. I'm very excited at, about this event, guys. It's my third fluid art experience, and every single one is better and greater and grander than the last one. So come paint with me, guys. The Renaissance Hotel in Dallas, November 17th, 18th, and 19th. This girl will be there teaching you everything it is that I've learned along my pouring, pouring journey, and I can't wait to paint with y'all. Thanks for being part of this, guys. I'm beyond grateful. Let's get to the table. Welcome to the No Bra Zone Painting Peeps. I am glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here. We're doing a little playing today, a little bit of experimenting. Um, I've been watching on um, Instagram one of my favorite, favorite artists. He doesn't have a YouTube channel. He produces some of the most beautiful landscape abstract landscapes I have ever seen. His name is Greg Benz, Greg Benz Artwork. And I actually got to see one of his pieces of art hanging in um, Jeremy and Lee Massey's home. And I was just in awe. He does a lot with, well, what I think is crackle paste. And I'm experimenting today. Um, this is a reuse canvas and I apply just at the bottom part, I'll show you close up, Golden's Crackle Paste. Now there are different kinds of crackle paste. There's some that you mix with your paints. There's some that you can put down and paint over. There's some that you can put on your canvas after you've painted. And I still have a lot of research to do. But um, I tried this golden crackle paste on the bottom two inches of this. Um, I tinted it with some nickel azo gold. I'm not sure you can see it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing probably a flip cup and a swipe over this as well as the crackle paste area. And um, then after that dries, I think I'm going to go in and rub some black or do something to the area where I put the crackle paste to accentuate the crackles. Now, I know that um, pending the thickness that you put your crackle paste down, the thicker it is, the bigger the crackles. The thinner it is, the smaller the crackles. At least that's what I've learned. Let me show you a piece that I did um, a couple of weeks ago. Hang on. 
Now this is not done. I'm still fiddling with it. I'm still playing with it, but I'll give you a close up as well of this area. Now I put this crackle paste on much thicker and you can see that the cracks are much larger than the cracks on this painting here. So this girl's still learning, lots to learn, but how do I learn? I learn by doing. Sometimes I make mistakes, sometimes the stars are aligned and everything works out. So wish me luck on this one, guys, and I will certainly show it to you once it's dried. Um, we are working on a what size canvas? This is a 12 by 16, and I have yummy colors, absolutely delicious yummy colors right here is golden fluids in the burnt sienna and i added just a drizzle of the deco art 24 karat gold to that right here in this cup we have golden fluids in the iridescent pearl right here we have oh one of my favorite paints deco art metallics and that is their pewter Right here, we have a combination of the Amsterdam Ex Expert Series and the Turquoise Blue. And I darkened it up a little bit with some Carbon Black. And this final cup right here is yummy. This is Golden's The Q Word Fluid Nickel Azo Gold. And I added just a drizzle or two of the deco art 24 karat gold in the metallics right there so some yummy colors we're just going to play i'm going to do um i think they call it a dirty cup and then i might do some swiping and then right here in this cup is amsterdam expert series and that is their oxide black this paint and only this paint is mixed with the magic ingredient, the Aussie Floetrol. We're one part paint to three parts Aussie Floetrol. All of these other paints are mixed with my swiping, um, pouring medium, 50% Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium, and a big healthy squirt of Golden Gak 800. So, we're going to play. We're going to fiddle. We'll see how this works out, guys. I'm glad you're here playing with me. Let's get busy. I'm driving. You're smiling. Just really doing nothing. That's the thing I like about you. Sixty-six, and we keep on driving. We just do what we wanna do. Yeah, no, nothing's complicated.
66 and we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do
Complicated. 